tonight at 165, Justin McCoy, the lone finalist for Virginia, the number two seed, ready to take on Connor Brady, the four seed, 14 and eight this year for Brady as he gets ready to compete for his first ACC championship. What a way to start off with a Commonwealth clash between Virginia and Virginia Tech. I like we got some fire up in here. Here comes Justin McCoy, the fifth year from New Paris, Pennsylvania, the two-time ACC runner-up. He has had near misses in the last two campaigns. Will this be the year he brings an ACC title back to Charlottesville? His opponent, Connor Brady, the redshirt sophomore, even though he still carries a sophomore tag, Brady is a certainly a seasoned veteran, the two-time NCAA qualifier looking for his first ACC championship in his third appearance, and we are underway tonight, a championship Sunday in Raleigh. Let's talk about Connor Brady. Keep him clean. Keep he had a fantastic, clean. absolutely well-planned out win against Heller from Pitt in the semifinals. First shot the of the match coming from Justin McCoy, easily corralled by Brady back up to his feet. McCoy needs to use his athleticism to keep it moving and, and to use everything in his arsenal to keep moving and continue to create offense. Whereby Brady needs to go back to his high seas and solid defense. McCoy, the three-time NCAA qualifier, three consecutive years, twice at 157. Last year was his first go around at 165, and he told us he's feeling a lot more comfortable this second year up a weight at 65. He's put a lot less pressure on himself this season. He's more relaxed with his approach. And the results certainly speak Keep the hands clean. volumes of where he has grown this year in his final go around for the Cavaliers. They wrestled each other several times already. Not too much feeling out. Got Starry Red, Starry Red, Green's taking another shot. Ball will come in and they tag Brady with it. Brady's trying to drive into an underhook right after the call. And that's what McCoy's supposed to do. We said he's athletic, he needs improved. to keep the motion and continue to fire shots. He's very good once he creates offense in scramble position. He has a very good body awareness, spatial awareness. One minute, one you minute. Know, Rock, it's interesting when you look at Virginia. Steve Garland does not have as many finalists as he was hoping yet. The future looks bright for the Cavaliers. He has brought in two consecutive really good recruiting classes as Brady comes in with his first offense. But there is the athleticism that you were talking about from McCoy. That was a fire shot there by Brady. But really good athleticism, as you said, by McCoy. I thought he was going to take it down. 30, 30. Yes, sir. No score, Mark final Center, few Steve moments Center. in this first period. Brady, very good at defense, but he has a really good high C to the right leg of his opponents. Short time, again, feeling each other out, little nerves, even though they wrestled before. It's the ACC Finals, a little more at stake. Seeding for the NCAA. No score after one. Steve Garland, the winningest right coach in Virginia history. He passed five. George Remember, Edwards a few years ago in 2020. As a wrestler, he won the ACC title back in 1997 at 125 pounds, your former teammate. Good dude. Good dude. Red. Stay set, member. Set whistle. Oh, you agree? You see, Garland is behind. And, and many times with coaches and wrestlers, they just pick the right person that fits their personality, that fits their style. And the are the ones that the coach is for from a corner. 
Travis and Trent Polson, the two assistants for Virginia. Travis, the three-time All-American at Iowa State. Trent, the 2007 NCAA National Champion at 157. Brady gets the quick point. 1-0, Connor Brady here in the second period. Brady has the offense. Just waiting for it to explode like he did in the first period. Tap watch and go. Hands, watch Bang ahead. Go to your high C. He's been warned, Justin. Stay on it. You hear, you hear the pulse say he's been warned, Justin. Yeah, he getting that. McCoy had to work. And it got a star call against Brady. He just got to keep shooting. Throat. Keep shooting. Those wrestlers improve. Long range shot by McCoy. Brady disengages with 60 seconds to go. Second period. Both wrestlers One keeping it pretty tight to the best so far. Talking with Tony Roby about the development of Connor Brady. He has matured a lot this year. Talent was never an issue. It was always revolving around the confidence for him. Connor Brady believing in himself and Virginia Tech coaching staff feels he has turned the corner this year and is ready to go even 30, deeper at nationals 30. and it could all start tonight possibly with an ACC championship. And five Pokies wrestling for an ACC title throughout the, the 10 down. weights. Short time again in. And McCoy has to continue to create Short the time. offense. Short. This is going into what Connor Brady wants to like a close match, and he can explode for his opportunity. Three, third 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 ACC three. Coach of the Year three, is Tony Roby in his sixth season. He's just six, given an extension of his contract that will keep him in Blacksburg through the 2028 season. Remember, well set, deserved set, for the job set, that he has done. Long-time assistant. Kevin Dresser. Dresser took the job in Ames to guide Iowa State. Roby was clearly the choice, and he has taken this program and a consistent contender in the ACC. Not just in the ACC, but on a national level. Virginia Tech is known across the country, not just on the East Coast. So tied up one. Obviously, riding time, not a factor. Who will be able to crack the other's defense first? McCoy started on a double, tried to switch it off to a single. Good job there by Brady, stifling it. Brady has got to create some offense because the official is seeing what we're seeing, that McCoy's looking like he's more on the offense. Well, McCoy changes it up and goes to that two-on-one. Boy, he's really stepping on the gas, dictating the flow, putting a lot of pressure on Brady. He's in on the shot. Now, Brady has got to be very careful because Justin McCoy is very good here. They're going to keep rolling and keep rolling until somebody gets more height. And at this point, Brady needs to put his foot down on the mat and crunch forward. That left foot right there, he's got to put it forward now. Looks like a danger position. Brady's in a good position here. But look at the athleticism. Here it is. The athleticism. Justin McCoy, the patience we said earlier, he can scramble. He's not worried when he's in those positions. McCoy gets Green, the takedown late. Look at the Green veteran two. keep his right toe in control. as long as he could. A couple more seconds off the clock. 23 to go, and the match is first takedown from McCoy. Remember, so got that caution, that whistle, that whistle. Right? Did that earlier whistle. in the semifinals. Red but set, because green, legal. Justin McCoy's a little more athletic, he was able to scramble set. around and get to the takedown. Up 3-1, to one, 23 seconds left. Take a deep breath, all right? Take a deep breath, relax. Once Brady's got to believe set. it's not over yet. Play He's got to believe you, he has an opportunity to win this. Set. All starts with getting out from underneath. Brady looking for a switch. He is away, and now he has to come right at McCoy. Short time wrestling, 10 seconds to decide an ACC champion. Brady bringing everything at him. McCoy dodging, backing off, and the ACC championship to Virginia. And it is Justin McCoy.
the third time, the charm, Steve Gorwin, a big smile on his face. The Cavaliers with their one finalist, and McCoy delivers. McCoy delivered based upon what his strengths were. His strengths were being athletic and being very good in the scramble position, and he got that one floor in the third period, which came out on top. Virginia has their first ACC championship.